Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Girl Fanny Longo back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Longo, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to do it. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, everything that you guys do. We're very, very grateful. I hope you guys are doing all right. I may stay blessed. So today, a big shout out to the person that suggested this. So today I'm going to be reacting to where is the Ark of Noah? Peace be upon him. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Uh, I mentioned with regarding the uh, story of Nuh Ali Saddam uh, brings us to another aspect of Ijaz al Quran, the miraculous aspect of the Quran. This one verse, aside from the linguistical miracle, the verse states regarding the ark of Nuh Ali Saddam, that this ark of Nuh Ali Saddam, it, it landed where? on the mount known as Al-Judi. That's all the Quran states, one word, Al-Judi. For hundreds of years, people attempted to discover the ark or the remnants of the ark of Nuh Saddam. In the Bible, in the Old Testament, we find a reference that the ark of Nuh Saddam stopped at a mountains known as Ararat, the Ararat mountains, which are in Turkey. The areas of Turkey which are populated by Kurdish people. So Christians were unable to find the exact location of the Ark. They knew that there is a set of mountains which the Bible mentions. A Turkish pilot was flying in the 1960s for map making for the government and he found an impression on the side of a mountain. The impression and he, of course, took photos of the impression, and the impression seemed like a boat. So then archaeologists descended to the location, and they found the remnants of a boat. Remnants in what sense? The imprint of a boat on the ground, and the remnants of iron, meaning iron which is used for the nails, and an exact diagram was drawn of the boat, meaning what type of boat was it, what size, and even anchors of the boat were found. What mountain was this? The locals, Kurdish people, told them that this mountain is known as Al-Judi. And that location is still uh, open to the public today in Turkey, that people can go and visit the remnants of what is the Ark of Nuh Ali Saddam, which has uh, remnants of the, the nails, and people can go and look, I mean the iron, but the Quran states, Look at the preciseness that we carried him in Surah Al Qamar. We carried him, meaning Nuh alayhi salam, and a boat made from alwah, wood, and dusur. Dusur is iron, met, iron nails. And the discovery showed that this boat was made from wood and iron nails. So they found, with using archaeological method, methodology, they found the remnants of um, iron, and they drew the exact diagram. Likewise, they found the anchors of the boat, ancient style anchors made from rock. But the Quran simply states, Bismillahi ala majareha wa mursaha. That the, the Quran states, Bismillahi, uh, in the name of Allah, meaning he said when the boat uh, was on the sea, uh, in the water, Majareha, on its flowing. So note, uh, the word maj majare is written as majra. In one qira, it is majra. But in qira to hafs, it is recited as majare to give the feeling that the boat is moving. Majareha. But when it states wa mursaha, it was still, the, the qira is not mursaha, it's mursaha, meaning firm. Meaning, even the qiraat have a subtle uh, indication towards what is meant in the Quran. But Mursa is from Arsa, referring to the anchors, the deep anchors that were placed. So when Nuh Salam 
وَاسْتَوَتْ عَلَى الْجُودِي He stopped on al-judi. Note the word istawa is to rise. That, uh, and it also means when something lands. So, or seats itself. So when it seats itself, istawa وَاسْتَوَتْ عَلَى الْجُودِي The boat was on the side of the judi mountain. And if you look at the pictures of the remnants of the boat, it is a, a graphical description found in Al-Quran al karim This is just found in that one verse. Likewise, the Quran throughout describes the Ark of Nuh as ayah, a sign. We will notice that the, the word ayah is used sometimes for those things which are visible. One of those things which is visible today is that people can go and see the body of Fir'aun, which I will mention later. But very interesting. So did both the Bible and the Quran get it right as to where the boat was or what? Another thing I always say about videos is they're always teaching you something that you didn't know. I had no idea that the boat was found or anything of that sort. So for me, this is new information to me. Always glad to learn something new. I'll probably look into it because I want to know how it at least looks like even if it's been quite some years if they managed to recover the entire thing what happened all sorts of things i want to know and i'll definitely look into this for those of you that have actually um seen the videos of the board being discovered and everything else let me know what you think what you have to say and any information that you have feel free to share it in the comment section below otherwise make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video